Well, hello there, everybody, and welcome to another Graviteam Tactics battle. We are actually playing, of course, the uh, campaign in Angola, and we're going to be playing as the Cubans. We're actually defending against what looks to be a probable South African attack. South African, I have no idea how to say it. Um, attack here um, by the South Africans, and I'm going to go ahead and take a look and see if they're going to be actually attacking from this side or if they're just bluffing. I'm a little worried they are because we've got a lot of tank units back here that could be in a much better position. So I'm going to put a few of them up here and a few of them over here uh, facing the enemy. And let's go ahead and hope that this is sufficient to spot these guys, of course. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pop back for a bit. And I think that's pretty much acceptable. Alright guys, so at this point we're defending against what looks to be an attack by the South Africans or UNITA. We're not exactly sure who's going to be attacking, but we are going to see pretty soon, of course. And uh, I think this is going to be a pretty cool battle. So, let's get to it. Alright guys, we've got our first bits of enemy contact here. And uh, it looks like we're receiving contact over here to the left side of the Burkea area. And there's definitely some sort of enemy APC there. Now, we got to keep in mind these South African APCs can absolutely take a tank out. We want to make sure that our guys spot them and are opening fire on them immediately. Come on, boys. We also, we've also got some South African tanks here. Oh, my goodness. Get them. Good shots. We're going to just go ahead and set our guys on hunt. Same with Andrade. Hunt. Just stay put. Mabinja, Mabinja, this way, this way, Mabinja. Oh, shit, Mabinja. Yeah, we want him to aim this way. There's one down. All right, Moreno is firing as well. Now, remember, guys, this is our Cuban uh, tank corps, Torres. One vehicle is lost. That might be Moreno. It definitely is, guys. We're still getting some good shots of the rest of our guys, but we're absolutely getting attacked on all fronts here by the enemy. Um, and we've got to bring up the rest of our tanks here. Going to put them on a hunt mission. It looks like we have some better range than the enemy, but let's bring up Sanchez and the rest of these guys. In fact, I'm going to fast move them because I want them to get here quickly. Keep firing, boys. I want to focus specifically on that tank because we don't need another one of our tanks getting hit. I've also put the hit markers for you guys so you can actually see when we get a shot. There we go. Oh, yes. That is a definite kill, guys absolutely wasted him penetrating hit and I believe those are Centurion tanks or is it Centurion or Crusader I can't remember I can never remember the name of those damn tanks but they're getting very close with those um, APCs I'm still just gonna focus fire on specifically their tank units looks like he can't spot any of their tank units so you know what he gets to shoot at whatever the hell he wants to go Mavinja Nice hit. It's a definite hit, but no penetrating hit on the uh, the enemy tank there. The South Africans are going to try to clear this area, guys. And remember, they they actually hold Burkea. So we're actually the ones that have to do a lot more work. And I'm going to hunt with Andrade because I don't like his positioning here. Although, if I take a look here, he's actually lost his track. So that's the issue there. But look at this. Whoa. <laughs> Keep firing, boys. Let's see how our guys are doing coming in on the flank. It looks like uh, Fausto has just gotten here, and the enemy's already asking for a ceasefire. Holy crap. We know there's some enemy infantry units off to our left, but I'm not going to accept a ceasefire. I'm going to keep moving in on the enemy. They can retreat, but we're not going to accept a ceasefire. That's crazy. This is what happens when South Africans uh, attack us head-on. Obviously, uh, in this conflict, the Cubans had sent... Um, T-50, was it T-50 tanks or T-34? You're going to have to let me know. I think T-34 is only World War II. Uh, I think they were a little better than T-34 tanks. And they actually outclassed a lot of the, uh, the South African tanks um, in this situation. Despite the fact that Cuba is a tiny, tiny country, they were able to supply some pretty awesome armaments um, through Russia, of course, to uh, the Angolan um, MPLA, uh, Communist Rebels. Let's go ahead and set targets on the rest of these guys. I want to hit everybody in that area. Make sure that we make them regret ever taking out this poor guy. Now, unfortunately, we lost another vehicle over here. It looks like Torres got hit. See, they've still got an ability to uh, do some serious damage to us here. Another vehicle lost. All right, this time it's Bartolome. Wow. And this is what I was telling you guys. Their uh, APCs are more than capable 
of killing our men and killing our vehicles. The track chassis on, Andr chassis on Andrade has been damaged for quite a while here, so I just want him to continue firing. Look at that incoming fire. There's, gonna, there's another tank there, guys. I see him. I see him over here. You've got to make sure to hit that tank unit. It's been a bloodbath for both sides, but let's hope that Lopez and Escudero and Sanchez can really improve things for us here. Got some enemy infantry right in front of us, in fact. Both those vehicle crew is, is definitely in some trouble here. I hope they can return fire. So we've got a lot of infantry near them. They're wounded, but they've got to return fire here. At least until we can get to them. That's definitely South African uh, infantry moving up on us. 100% certain on that. Yep. Definitely South Africans. Alright, I think Escudero can get in here pretty quick and provide some good cover. But we want to hit that tank unit right there. Enemy retreats! Wow, that's that! It looks like the enemy is going to go ahead and get the hell out of here. We didn't even get a chance to kill that tank, but we just killed another uh, APC, which is pretty awesome. And look at that, guys. The South African attack was not successful. We've just stacked them. Uh, and totally stacked them in terms of, um, of shots here. Great. We also took a key point. And I'm definitely going to be reviewing that battle, guys. That's just way too cool to ignore. I want to take a look here at how we did. Taking that, AP that APC. We actually did damage this tank. As you can see, we took off some of the track. Absolutely decimated that tank. And look at all these APCs. Now, one thing that's for, for certain is a lot of the enemy infantry managed to escape this battle. We mostly got their armor, although you can see some shell holes here where we definitely caused some serious casualties amongst the South Africans. But uh, I would have loved to keep this fight going. Unfortunately, is that going to be babies and run very well? It actually totally makes sense because they would be advancing with infantry on tank positions. And uh, despite the fact that a lot of them had ATGMs and uh, bazookas, they actually killed a few of our tanks with them. Because there was only one tank here, and I know he didn't get all of the kills. Um, that's pretty cool. Unfortunately, Moreno, Torres, and a few of these guys will have to live on in our hearts as heroes to the Soviet, or sorry, the international communist cause. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that battle. I certainly did. Uh, let's take a look at the casualties there. We killed 56 of the enemy, 17 wounded, 0 missing. We lost 10 men, uh, and 3 of them are wounded, probably pretty severely. And lost 4 tanks, enemy lost 4 tanks, they lost 16, however, other vehicles. And that's really where we get the victory. Thanks for watching, guys. This was just a quick, fun battle on Graviteam Tactics. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care, and have an awesome day.